So if I wasn't using this bracelet here for Slayer, I would have two out of 242 Sakwas left, Sukwas. Uh, but because I am, this is actually currently how many I have left on top of it. So 58, 59 actually. Uh, so because of wearing this bracelet while doing Slayer, I was able to kill an extra 59 Sukwas on one Slayer task. Now by the time I actually kill these 59, I'll probably grant another 15 or so, maybe just 10, maybe 15, maybe even 20. Um, so that's going to be like an extra 60, you know, 70, maybe even almost 80 Suquas, just from one Slayer task. So in February they did an update for Silver Jewelry. Uh, I think RS3 did the same thing a few months or something ago. Um, and uh, I guess it was a good idea and it also hit the old school team as well. So I'm going to quickly show you guys uh, two bracelets that are extremely useful for Slayer and they're even worth, they're better uh, than basically wearing like the best DPS gloves or uh, the bracelet for magic or any of that stuff. I mean it's not better DPS but it's definitely more efficient to be using them. Uh, now keep in mind you can bring a glove switch if you want. It's quite try hard especially for things that are, where you're using a cannon or you're killing multiple things like with the uh, barrage method so for the most part I don't really bother bringing in a switch um, but I mean you can if you want. Anyways the bracelet to extend your slayer task uh, technically is the slaughter bracelet and the one to shorten your task is the one up here. It's opal uh, expeditious. Uh, this one here basically you wear this on a task you hate or a low XP per hour task um, or just anything where you want to shorten the task. The only downfall of it is that you have to bring probably more than one for a Slayer task, especially if you are extending your Slayer task with the Slaughter one. Uh, there is no way at the moment where you can make them have more than 30 charges each. I'm thinking maybe in the future they might make it so you can use them on each other and it will have more charges or something like that. Or bring out an item where you can stack charges, I guess, of stuff like that on it. Uh, but at the moment you have to bring like sometimes two, maybe three, and maybe even four uh, slaughter bracelets, but normally shouldn't be four, maybe just two to three. Um, and expeditious, normally just like one or two, including the one that you're wearing, uh, just because most of those tasks are a small amount anyways, I don't have them extended um, in terms of the actual game extending the slayer task for slayer points. Now there's a few other things here that are sort of useful, uh, I'm only going to talk about these two here besides maybe just this one here. Uh, chemistry amulet. 5% chance of making a 4 dose potion instead of it being 3 dose when you do herbal or so. Um, that's basically really, really useful obviously as well, but I want to stick to these two bracelets. So, once again I'm going to wait till this task is at 0 left and then we're going to check again how many more this bracelet has helped me again gain. Um, as you see I'm wearing it, you can check how many charges it has left, 4. Uh, it works just like a recall ring, a lot of crap, you can break it if there's like one charge on it left and you want to start fresh with a new one. Best thing about these items is that their value is very, very little. They're 1.3k in the GE. They're not really going to go up too much anyways, just because, I mean, you use them very, very slowly, and obviously mining uh, gems is actually not that bad nowadays because of the update that they did. So, um, yeah, they're not going to go up too much, and as you see, it gives you a warning message when you have one charge left. It will also give you, I believe, a warning message when it actually fully degrades. Um, so I guess we'll just wait a few more kills. Oh, right, I forgot to check. So we killed those 59 that I got extra from the Slayer task, and now on top of that, we have, I think it was probably 13 by the time I actually finished, but now we have on top of this 59, now we have another 11, 12, or 13 kills to do. So that's like almost, that's 70 extra kills I did the Slayer task just because of these bracelets. And obviously the task like this, the cannon is doing a lot of work anyway, so sacrificing a bit of DPS and just this slot right here isn't really a big deal. And yeah, there it is, the warning message that's been fully uh, degraded. They do degrade the dust, obviously. And there is our task complete. I'm going to wait now until I get a task where I would like to probably kill it quickly. Yeah, no thanks to that. One last benefit I do want to add for the slaughter bracelet is this obviously does also work on Cerberus boss as well. I'm being told every single boss task it works on basically, so that's amazing. And Cerberus is kind of a unique boss because it's Slayer task only obviously, just like all the other ones really besides DKs. Um, but it's like amazing profit per hour if you do that task. And the only reason it's good profit is because you can't camp the boss. If you could, it'd be basically crap. Um, but because you can only do it on Slayer task, uh, it's profitable as hell. And because of these bracelets, you can basically camp it for longer than you should be able to or that you normally would be able to for. So that's one thing to keep in mind is that some Slayer tasks are like boss tasks, but only for Slayer tasks. 
And in the future, they're going to probably come up with more of these type of things anyways, which is smart. I like it more than being able to just camp them. Uh, so these bracelets will have a good future uh, as well, not just right now, but new bosses in the future that come out, Slayer assignment only, these things will be so good. Once again, I just finished my task. I had 117 Dark Beast, and let's see uh, how many more we have now. 29. So, yeah, it's just about 25%. All right, so here we go, testing out the other bracelet. Now I have 185 blood belts. Let's see how much quicker this task is going to be, how many I will not have to kill, but still completing the task, obviously. So uh, let's go ahead. So just to be a bit more precautious, I just reset my Slayer on this uh, task because that number up there will randomly just disappear and I won't know exactly how many I had left, uh, technically. Um, so yeah, this is how much Slayer XP I should be gaining from this task. I'm gonna probably get like 16,000 by the time it is actually done, but I didn't even know this task is 40k an hour. It's pretty damn good. I'm quite AFK as well, so you could probably get a bit more in this uh, spot here, but I think over there is actually a bit more XP, but I think you get to move around a little bit more. But anyways, I'm still not sure how I feel about this. Uh... <laughs> it just, it just, it doesn't, it's not, I like it though, it's really good. And on video, we're gonna get an imbued heart. Rip. Shit, I just realized that's gonna fuck me up because now my Slayer XP is different. Okay, we're gonna check it now, 47, and I'm gonna guess this is gonna have like 10 left or something. 22, so yeah. And once again, of course, probably just about to be done now. Three left, so there's like four more there. So it skips about 30 to 40 valves, which is roughly 25%, I believe. And I think I fucked up for a few seconds actually back here where it, it ran out and I didn't wear a new one for a few seconds, which or a few kills, which is like why I would like to see if these things would ever be stackable. But you get the point. This thing is uh, pretty damn good for skippable tasks that you, well, not skippable tasks, but tasks that you don't have points to skip or you don't want to waste points skipping them because they're sort of a decent task, but they're not the best. Um, that's where you'd probably want to use these. And these things will last forever, by the way. The last two mil Slayer XP, I don't think I've even used 80 of these things. Probably used like, yeah, like, I think I bought 1.1k of these and I did about two mil Slayer so far. So you, you don't even need that many for 99. You would, you would need like 800 for 20 mil XP at this rate that I'm going. And these things, I think I bought 1,000 and I used about 30. So these things aren't going to skyrocket or anything. I mean, they're cheap as shit anyways. These ones are 1k each as well. Uh, so, I mean, these will, this should right here, if this continues to go at this rate, this should last me like 20, 20 something mil slayer XP, 25 mil slayer, just, just for a thousand of these. Okay. So like, it's insane. So they are definitely affordable. You shouldn't have an issue being able to buy these things. I mean, this is one point something mil and this will get you way, this will get you almost double 99. This will probably last you for the same amount, maybe even longer and that will get you more than 90 or double 99 so yeah not have been two three mil spent and you're good to go so this bracelet here i will probably be selling very very soon because i don't think i'll ever use it again because most tasks that you barrage you kill them too quickly to bother with or switch for the ring or, or yeah the ring um or the gloves i mean it's yeah whatever same thing anyways thanks for watching i'll catch you guys in the next one all kinds of gains in this bitch